Hello, Purpose Talkers. Thank you so much for joining me on this Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I pray that you are with family, with friends, with loved ones. And if you're not, that you are continuing to pray and know that God is with you. He is with all of us and he loves you. He loves you so much. And there are so many things that you can be grateful for. You are here in this life. And that means that you have a purpose. You have something to offer and that God is not through with you yet. So wherever you are, Whatever you are experiencing right now, I pray that God's love just overwhelms you with warmth and that you feel his holy presence with you right now in this moment. Today, I want to leave you with encouraging scripture and things to meditate on. I am so grateful to my friends, my family, and those who have ministered to me and who are continuing to pray for our given purpose as this ministry grows and will be evolving in 2022. So I want to say thank you. I'm grateful to our Lord for all that he has continued to bless me with and my family, my friends, co-workers, colleagues, and other ministries and organizations that I have the, I'm just so grateful to be a part of. I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for your devotion, for your obedience, for your guidance, for the things that you are doing to ensure that the gospel is heard through your unique experiences and that you are bringing others into the right fellowship with Jesus Christ. I say thank you. I love you all and I look forward to seeing you next week. Let us pray together. Holy, gracious Father, thank you for your strength. We give thanks unto you, Lord, for you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your word encourages the inexperienced to become wise. Your ways teach us your paths and purpose for our lives. In you we abide. Abba Father, help us to obediently follow you, pursuing your wisdom. May we make appropriate application of your word. We praise you, Lord, for your mighty acts. We will praise your name, for you alone are excellent. Your glory is above heaven and earth. We give thanks to you, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Peace. Peace is found in God. In John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Jesus taught his disciples and he instructs us to receive the peace he gives. So what exactly is this peace that isn't of the world? Well, God's peace is more than just the absence of conflict or state of rest. It means completeness, success, fulfillment, harmony, security, and wholeness. We know God to be complete with his gifts, and what he gives is so much better than the world could ever offer. When you are having a challenging time finding God, meditate on John chapter 14, 27. Jesus left his peace. He gave his peace so we would not be troubled. God's peace is quiet, tranquil, devoid of violence or force. It can be a state of being. A peacemaker is one who helps others solve conflict and reach a peaceful solution. In James chapter 3, verses 13 through 18, it says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by his good behavior his works with the humility of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and tell lies against the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there is disorder in every evil practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceful, gentle, obedient, full of mercy and good fruits, non-judgmental, without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace among those who make peace. God and his wisdom shows consideration for others. It is submission, mercy, sincerity, impartiality. It is 
peace. Colossians 3.15 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. And finally, I leave with you 2 Thessalonians 3.16 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you all.